a catamount, awakes in the dark, scared, not being able to see anything. When she emerges, she sees that her friends and family has changed terribly. What had occurred? Well, let's find out. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I am here with this awesome book, the third installment in the Serafina Trilogy. Serafina and the Splintered Heart by Robert Beatty. And well, let's get right on to it. Serafina, our beloved guardian of the Biltmore House, a catamount, being able to turn into giant black panther, and she is, well, one of our favorite characters in this book. But Serafina wakes in uh, in the dark, and she awakes and she finds herself in buried alive within a coffin. She uses all her strength to break free and manages to get out of the ground. She finds herself in a graveyard and she felt, well, scared, obviously, I would be scared. And she recognized the graveyard. It was the graveyard in the forest where her mother and mother had dent with her cubs. Her catamount mother, mind you. And so she thought that she needed to go see her friends. So she went to the Biltmore house, but no one was able to see her. And her friends had changed in terrible ways. Brayden, her best friend, had been scarred terribly. His, his leg was in a case and his, one of his legs seemed to be terribly injured and seemed, well, unusable. Brayden looked sad and he didn't say anything. And he seemed to be very silent and dark. Her father looked as if she, she, he had lost all soul within him. He was working on a machine, but then half-heartedly put down the tools and just went away. And Serafina knew that her father never, never put down the tools until what needed to be done was done. And she was shocked by her father and Brayden's behavior, and even got worse. It looked like Brayden was keeping the, the damaged final pieces of the black cloak in a secret place. Which is a big shocker. <laughs> and this, meanwhile, Seraphine's memory is slowly, slowly coming back to her. She seemed to remember fighting. Fighting Rowena. Fighting Rowena with her teeth and claws. And then being sucked into another place and being injured terribly than dying. But Brayden, Brayden had grabbed her and, well, buried her, buried her in the angel's glade. And the magic in that glade had preserved her body and soul so that she would not pass on to whatever lies beyond death. And Seraphina knows that she has to get back in her body and come together, her soul, her human body, and her panther body, so that together they may defeat whatever evil is brewing. Because unexplained storms are brewing, and an evil clawed thing, thing seems to lurk in the outskirts of Biltmore House. It had come once and for all to destroy Biltmore House. And Serafina has to trust Rowena the very sor sorceress who had made her to what she is right now, some sort of ghost maybe, or spirit, and she has to trust one of her worst enemies to free her and to make her become the original Serafina, then she has to come up with a plan. A plan to kill something that is immortal. Well, if you want to find out what happened next, buy the book. Read it and enjoy. It is a very, very extremely... At first, it was like a horror movie, and I kind of didn't like it, but as 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 Serafina realized what was going on, I felt very relieved, and it felt, like, really intense, and it was an absolute patient. I read it in one cut. Absolutely awesome. And, like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester.
Master. Absolutely awesome book. The third book in the Serafina series, and well, all the Serafina books are extremely good.